Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be getting ready together. I am going on a date tonight with my boyfriend. In a little bit, we're going to go get dinner, go to the mall, do a little shopping. He's going to take me to the Morphe store. I'm super excited for that tonight, so I thought I would just film my getting ready process, kind of showing you guys like a little go-to date night glam. First of all, I just want to excuse this side of my face it's throwing a little bit of a temper tantrum right now and i'm having a slight eczema flare-up um which is why my eye looks a little bit crazy right now i woke up and it was extremely swollen i was not gonna let my eczema stop me so i'm still filming this video i'm still gonna go out tonight so i'm gonna be showing you guys my go-to glam makeup starting off with primer i have this smashbox photo finish um this is like the radiance primer that they have and this is just gonna make my skin look super glowy and dewy I'm going for a more like fresh faced glowy look tonight instead of something um, like super mattifying. So that's the plan. And I already did go ahead and moisturize and do eye cream and all that stuff, so I'm just gonna go straight in with the makeup. After I've got my primer on, now I'm gonna be going in and doing a little bit of color correcting just under my eyes. Um, this is from LA Girl, it's their Pro Concealer, and this is the yellow corrector one. So I have pretty bad dark circles, um, and I noticed last time that I did this makeup look, I don't think I color corrected, I get like really dark in my like inner corners, and it was just kind of like throwing off um, like the eyeshadow look when I was taking pictures I noticed I had a really dark inner corner so I'm trying to cover that up um, and just correct some of those like dark veins that I have under my eyes and on my eyelids as well um, by using this yellow corrector so I'm going to be starting off with this and putting this underneath my foundation and concealer just to act as like a neutral base um, so we can have a clear canvas to work on so blending that out with my little sponge Now on to foundation. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Foundation. Um, this one's in the shade Y405, and I know it looks extremely dark and not my shade. Um, I did okay. Um, I did fake tan last night. <clears throat> that was weird. My throat just got all weird. Um, anyways, yeah, I did do a little fake tanning last night. So I'm hoping I can get this to match me because it's kind of like one of my self tanner shades that I use. The funny thing is that I actually got color matched at Sephora when I bought this, so I don't think they did a very good job because it, like every time I look at it, I'm like, how do I wear this? But I'm just going to have to lighten it up with some concealer, I guess, because I really love that foundation and I want to wear it, so we'll see how we can make this work. Or if we can make this work. I did bring out my um, Too Faced Born This Way foundation just in case. Maybe I'm not like developed enough because I just did this a couple hours ago, but I'm just going to add a little bit of this. Um, this one's in the shade Warm Nude, so it's still um, one of my self-tanner shades, but it's not as deep as the one that I have from Makeup Forever. So I'm just going to use this to kind of try and lighten that up a bit um, and neutralize it because that one's like super warm tone. So we'll see how this helps, but I am going to do... Um, like a lighter concealer and powder, so don't worry. I'm pretty sure this will all come together soon Switching over to concealer I'm just going to be using some of my Tarte Shape Tape and this one I have in the shade Fair Light Neutral So I'm going to be using this not only under my eyes, but down the center of my face too to highlight And definitely making sure that I bring that up into my inner corner of my eyes so I don't have that super dark circle effect that I had last time. Just set the face me using my beloved Maybelline Fit Me powder. Um, this is the loose finishing powder and I have mine in the shade Fair Light. Again, using this to kind of help highlight my face a little bit more. And I'm not really um, like baking underneath my eyes. I'm just kind of setting the places where I put that um, Shape Tape concealer. But I am going to go in a little bit later and bake under like my contour and stuff. So for now, we are not baking. We are just setting our concealer spots. So that's what the base is looking like right now. I'm going to shoot off camera really fast. 
to speed up time and go do my eyebrows so I will be right back alrighty we are back and we got the brows on I just really quickly went ahead and used my Benefit Cabrow, and then I just finished off with some e.l.f. Clear Brow Gel. So moving on to finish off the rest of the face, um, I have a little sample of this Too Faced um, Chocolate Soleil. This is the medium slash deep matte bronzer. It's the one that smells like chocolate. Um, and I really just need to buy the full size because I actually use this little mini one a lot, especially when I'm fake tanned. It's beautiful, so. But yeah, you can just take any like matte bronzer you want, and then I'm just going to be using this to warm up the face a little bit and also add some dimension and contour a bit. Moving on to blush, this is Sephora's Wintered Flush Palette. Um, I believe they came out with this one last year um, or the year before. And it just comes with um, four little blushes and then it's got like a matte side and then a shimmery side. I just usually mix them together. But I'm just gonna be mixing um, these two shades right here down at the bottom, the more neutral ones. Now that that is done, I'm going to let that bake sit for a couple minutes while I move on and do my highlight and then start the eyes. So for highlight today, I'm using, this is the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlight, um, and this is Mean Money and Hustla Baby. Hustla Baby, which is the one I'm going to be using today, and then that one is Mean Money, which is a slightly, not really slightly, it's a less intense um, version of the other one, just a little highlight duo. So I'm actually... I was going to mix them both together, but I'm just going to use the Mean Money one because it's too beautiful to not. Probably should have tapped off my brush, but <laughs> too late for that now. I've not used this highlight in such a long time. I actually forgot how like bright and beautiful it is. I'm kind of shocked. I don't know why I'm shocked though. It's Fenty. I mean, come on. What what products have they came out with that has not been anything less than amazing? Like. Really? I should have known. For my eyeshadow today, I'm going to be using the Modern Renaissance Palette. This is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, why am I saying um like that? It's so annoying. This is what the palette looks like right here. I'm going to be focusing more into like the warm, neutrally brown shades versus like the purpley pinky ones. Because um, again, I want this look to be very neutral. Very like soft golden glam. So starting off, this is the Morphe 573 brush. I'm just gonna be taking the shade Golden Ochre. Tapping off my brush this time because these shadows are a bit dusty, but super, super pigmented. You know what's dusty too is this mirror, my goodness. Let me clean that off so I can actually like see out of it. Next, with that same brush, I'm actually going to be dipping into Warm Taupe right, ooh, right over there and taking that and pretty much doing the same exact thing, putting that into my crease. Switching brushes here, this is the Morphe M330. I'm going to be taking hmm, a mix. Actually, no. I'm just going to be taking this shade right here. Um, this is Raw Sienna, which is a slightly warmer brown shade. Um, since I just went in with that taupe shade, I want to bring a little bit of warmth back into the look. So, taking that and just going right over top, blending the whole look out. actually going to dip a little, little bit into the shade next to it, the burnt orange, but also still mixing that in with raw sienna so it's not too warm because I do still want to keep this very neutral. I don't want it to be cool tone and I don't want it to be warm tone either. Just very, very neutral. Trying to like slow down my blending because I feel like every time when I edit my videos and I watch myself doing my eyes, I'm just like shh. Like I'm going so fast, I'm like, oh, slow down, what is the rush? So I'm trying to just be a little bit more gentle, so. Yeah, okay. 
Now to deepen up the eyes just a little bit, actually not even a little bit, this is a pretty dark shade. We're gonna go in with Cypress Umber right here, taking this on a Morphe 506 brush. Just getting a little bit there, definitely tapping off the excess. Excess, because you can see right there on my finger all the fallout that just came out, so. Taking this and really kind of like winging it out a little bit, focusing it on, again, the outer third, but just kind of making it almost into like a little cat eye and focusing all the dark shades right here. So, and I'm also gonna bring it onto my lid just a little bit, just on the edge, so, like this. Switching back to my Morphe M330 brush, I'm going to take a little bit of that burnt orange shade and raw sienna mixed together one more time and just blend that out. Since that was a bit more of a cool tone shade, I want to balance it out a little bit. So just basically making sure that all of the edges are diffused and we don't have any harsh lines. After I've got that initially laid down, I'm going in one more time and repeating the entire process starting with the Cypress Umber and my Arter Third, and then blending it out with raw sienna and burnt orange, just to intensify it one more time. If I may have blurred a little bit too much of that original Cypress, under, Cypress Umber shade away, I still wanna make sure my outer corner is super dark and intense, and right now it's not exactly where I want it to be. So just go ahead and repeating that step, doing the same thing one more time. After I've done that, I'm just gonna go ahead really quickly take a pause on the eyes and just blend out this bake that I had going. To finish our lids on the eyes, I'm going to be going in with a little shimmer shade. This one is from ColourPop. This is one of their Super Shock shadows, and this one is in Amaze. Just looks like that. Really pretty golden, kind of like rosy gold sort of shade. It's super shimmery and pretty. I originally wanted to keep this as like an all matte look, but I'm feeling a little glitter today, so I'm going to go in and add a little bit more of that. And you can use your finger for this. I think it's actually recommended that you use these shadows with your finger, but I don't feel like getting my hands all dirty right now, so I'm just gonna go in with a little synthetic brush. To finish off the shadow part of the eyes completely, I'm just gonna be going in and taking a mix of raw sienna and warm taupe and putting that all on my lower lash line. Now that I've got the majority of the makeup done, I'm gonna go off camera really, really fast um, and just do some false eyelashes, and then I will come back and we can finish off the lips and the entire look together. I absolutely love all of these Bare Minerals liquid lips. Um, all of the matte ones smell just like vanilla cake, so I freaking love them. Um, they just feel so comfortable on your lips. Like I said, they smell great. Um, they don't like dry you out or anything. It just is a very comfortable matte. Um, but this shade Hemp in particular is my absolute favorite. It's just the perfect nude and I love it. Um, super long lasting, all of the good things. So I definitely recommend Bare Minerals Lip With Lipsticks if you have never tried any of them out because they are bomb. Once we have done that, now to finish off the look entirely, I'm just gonna go ahead and set my face, especially because I know I went in with a lot of products, a lot of powder. When you go and you layer a bunch of products like that, you definitely wanna make sure that you follow up with a setting spray to help everything melt together and lock into your skin. Not only is it gonna last all night long, but it's just gonna make all the products mesh beautifully together and make it look just like skin, like your skin, but better. This is the Morphe setting spray, but this is the one that they came out with Jeffree Star, the Starberry scent. I think I sprayed way too much. I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see a close up final look of what the skin and the eyes and everything looks like all together. Um, like I said, I just really wanted something super glowy um, and fresh face. I really hope that you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up for me and don't forget to subscribe for more makeup videos, tutorials, get ready with me. 
chit chat, get ready, is all that fun stuff. I love doing these types of videos. But yeah, that is it. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much if you watched this whole video. If you made it to the end, you are awesome and I love you. Um, and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!